I am wondering if you can describe to us what your workouts this off season have been like, particularly, or I guess this over these last couple of months as they ramped up towards the season and particularly your workouts that we saw surface with Kyrie, what that was like. Uh, I mean, we just played pickup, got in, got shots up, um, but the consistency was what, you know, he, he did four or five times a week, you know, so it was normal work, but it was good to, you know, finally get back out there and start playing up and down again. Our next question comes from Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kevin, uh, Steve Nash talked today about how your, your passion to play is infectious and how excited you are to be back. Can you tell from what you've done so far on the court, uh, if you can regain the Kevin Durant MVP caliber level that you've played at in the past? I saw Iguodala predicted you would be MVP this year. Do you think you're going to be capable of that or can you tell yet? Uh, I feel good playing. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not even thinking about awards at all. I mean, this is about taking it a day at a time. I feel good though. Our next question comes from Mark Spears with the undefeated. Hey, Kevin. What up? Hey, um, when you were watching uh, from outside the bubble, how, how did you take the social justice movement going on? And I'm sure you were probably a little eager to wish you could have been a part of that. And what is going to be the key for you guys going forward and bringing that into next season? Um, I, I was very proud of the NBA for allowing the players to have their own voice. Uh, you know, surrounding social justice and guys have been, you know, working in their communities for years and years before this, you know, so if we continue to do that, then, you know, I mean, that's really been my approach is to continue to do that, do my work that I've been doing in my communities already and, you know, support the guys, you know, moving forward. So we'll see what happens. Our next question comes from Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? I'm uh, checking to see... Uh, when I saw you on with Stewie, you were talking about uh, uh, just having to be smart in the rehab and not try to do things too, too much. When you get into the season, have not played for a year and a half, how, uh, how difficult will that be to be judicious, you know, in the minutes and rest and not try to go overboard? It would definitely be difficult because um, I enjoy playing. Um, in the game and coach want to pull me out early unexpectedly of course i'll you know try to push back but i know they have my best interest uh, but like i said we was going to take it a day at a time i mean you know, first day of individual workouts you know it's cool we just go from there our next question comes from christian winfield with the new york daily news hey kevin uh first and foremost happy belated thanksgiving hope you enjoyed that time with, with you and yours um, the, the average person can't necessarily comprehend an Achilles injury because they've never had one, so they don't know what it feels like to have that. Uh, can you kind of explain what it was like to rehab? Uh, and had you ever sustained an Achilles injury in the past as, 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 that, so you had a point of reference and saying, oh, this is what an Achilles injury is like? Or was that all new order for you? And what was it kind of like traversing that injury? Yeah, it was definitely new. I never experienced that injury before. Um, I strained anything close to that. Um, but learning how to walk again, you know, well, not walking and, and getting assistance in everything that you do for the first three or four months was tough. Uh, I've been through surgeries and injuries before, but, you know, the longest you know, recovery I had was three months. But the first phase of the Achilles was three months long, and you couldn't walk or run. You had to use a scooter. So I think just those milestones of reaching, like learning how to walk and learning how to run, jump again and getting used to start movements again. I think that's that's underestimated. People don't realize that. And um, Achilles, this that ligament is one of the most the strongest ligaments in your body. You know, so for that to pop, you gotta build that up and that takes a while. Our next question comes from Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Hey Kevin, the team expectations are high. Do you embrace those expectations? And how do you share that as well with your teammates in terms of pursuing the ultimate goal of winning a title? 
Well, our only goal is to be the best version of ourselves every single day individually and bring that together and work as a unit. And uh, outside noise from people who are hoping that we fail, hoping that they see a show or get entertained by some drama. I mean, we can't control that stuff, you know? So we just worried about, you know, who we are individually and then bringing that together as a unit each and every day. Only the people in this building matter. Our next question comes from Rachel Nichols with ESPN. Hey, Kevin, it's really nice to see you back. Uh, you were talking about how hard the rehab is from an Achilles injury, and there's such a wide swing in recovery. Some guys are never themselves again, and some bounce back really strong. So was there a particular point in your recovery when you could really feel confident that, yeah, I am going to be myself again, that you had that that moment? Who knows? I just got to see how I feel in a real NBA game again. Our next question comes from David Aldridge with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, um, you are at a, a different part of your career than you've been at at any point. I just wonder how you have imagined yourself as a, as a player and leader at this stage of your career and some of the things that you think you really bring to the table now that maybe you didn't bring as a young player and some of the things that you have to compensate for being an older player. Uh, <clears throat> I always brought that excitement to the game. I always brought that enthusiasm that I enjoy getting up every day and playing basketball and my life being about just the game of basketball. I always enjoyed that, but I always needed to see more in the NBA experience more. And I think over the last 13 years, you know, I've experienced so much as a basketball player and it's molded me and made me to who I am today. And my approach has just always been to be, to work as hard as I can on every rep um, and practice, shoot around individual workouts. Hopefully my teammates follow that lead and, you know, find out who they are for themselves. And for me, in, in, in the games, I just try to play as hard as I can on the defensive side of the ball and be efficient, you know. And, um, that's just been my approach and how I feel like I'm going to help this team going forward. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.